Jerusalem! <laughs> Your sidewalks are so soft they feel like used mattresses. Jerusalem, even the most schmeagly of your pigeons is like a metaphor for, like, peace. <laughs> Jerusalem, I once plucked a pigeon, but that was before Jonathan Safran Foer made me a vegetarian. <laughs> Jerusalem, Yehuda Amishai wrote poems about your pigeons much better than I can. <laughs> Jerusalem, I spent this morning wandering your walls with a light and lantern and a digital camera and through the lens and the pour of tourists Spilling into the city of David, I could see Silwan through a crack in your ancient war wall. Jerusalem, I think it's weird how men often refer to you like you are a woman. Jerusalem, you are not a woman. Jerusalem, you are a city. <laughs> Jerusalem, do you agree with me that men should not refer to women like they are cities to walk on and sleep in and take by force? Jerusalem, Jerusalem, does the word vagina make you uncomfortable? Jerusalem, I want to raise an army of children in your damp and moist biblical caves. I will send them all to bilingual preschool and they will grow up knowing both Arabic and Yiddish and they will be caustically optimistic and incurably hospitable. Jerusalem, this morning I was not allowed to visit your western wall because I was wearing a shirt that said we are all El Arakib. What is El Arakib? The guard asked. <laughs> and so I tried to tell him it means we are all rabbits. <laughs> so despite my insistence that we are all relatively harmless, lettuce-eating mammals, he would not let us pass. Jerusalem, do you have a permit to build there? Jerusalem, all was quiet on your eastern front. And some men saw my shirt and said, that's great. May God grant you prosperity. Now come and eat with us. But we said, no, thank you. Because generally, Palestinians do not eat enough leafy greens for our taste. <laughs> Jerusalem, what about the Palestinians? Jerusalem, maybe I should grow a mustache. Jerusalem, there will be a demonstration today at 4 o'clock. It will begin at the Pigeon Gate and end in disappointment. Jerusalem, what would Maimonides say about the light rail? <laughs> Jerusalem, would you find our fine old sages of blessed memory 180 shekels if they couldn't figure out how to use the machine? <laughs> Jerusalem, I'm, I'm sorry, that wasn't, that wasn't completely fair. I was just looking for one line that would put me squarely within the consensus. <laughs> Job. Jerusalem, when will you put on a uniform? Jerusalem, when will you stop learning and stand at a checkpoint like everyone else? Jerusalem, when will you succumb to your fanatics? Jerusalem, when will you spit us out? Jerusalem, maybe if you stop eating for 75 days, they will let you out of solitary confinement and tell you what your sentence is. Jerusalem, we made the headlines of the New York Times. Jerusalem, you're probably tired of poems. Jerusalem, my writing hand has lost its cutting, which is mostly okay because I'm a lefty. <laughs> Jerusalem, you can use a lesson in queer theory. Jerusalem, I'm hungry. Jerusalem, let's have a barbecue. Jerusalem, let's have a pigeon. Jerusalem, I'm hungry. Jerusalem, you don't really want to go to war, do you? Jerusalem, put a note in your western wall for me and for El Arakib and for Silwan. Jerusalem, pray for us. Jerusalem! <laughs>